tonight, an alarming discovery out of a Baltimore City high school where hundreds of students are failing. As Project Baltimore's Chris Paps explains, we found a student who's passed three classes in four years and is ranked near the top half of his class. We're not letting none of this get the best of us. All right? Mm -hmm. Be strong, son. We got this. He's stressed, and I am too. Like, I told him I, I probably will start crying. Like, my son is, I don't know what to do for him. This coming June is when Tiffany France thought her son would receive his diploma. And I'm just trying to fight. He like, Mom, what, what was all this for? What did I do this for? Like, don't he get a chance? Do he get a chance? But after four years of high school, this mom just learned her 17-year-old has to start over. He's been moved back to ninth grade. Why would he do three more years in school? Y'all, he didn't fail, the school failed him. The school failed at their job. They failed, they failed. That's the problem here, they failed. They failed, he didn't deserve that. France's son attends Augusta Fell Savage Institute of Visual Arts in West Baltimore. His transcripts show in four years, he has passed just three classes, earning two and a half credits, which places him in ninth grade. But France says she didn't know that until February. She has three children and works three jobs. She thought her oldest son was doing well because even though he failed most of his classes, he was being promoted. His transcripts show he failed Spanish 1 and Algebra 1, but was promoted to Spanish 2 and Algebra 2. He also failed English 2, but was passed on to English 3. I'm just assuming that if you are passing, that, that you have the proper things, you know, to go to the next grade. And, you know, the right grades, you have the right credits. As we dig deeper into her son's records, we can see in his first three years at Augusta Fells, he failed 22 classes and was late or absent 272 times. But in those three years, only one teacher requested a parent conference, which France says never happened. No one from the school told this mother her son was failing and not going to class. Yeah. France's son, in his four years at Augusta Fells, earned a grade point average of 0.13. He only passed three classes. But his transcripts show his class rank is 62 out of 120. This means nearly half of his classmates, 58 of them, have a GPA of 0 0.13 or lower. He's a good kid. Like he didn't deserve that. Where is the mentors? Where is the help for him? I don't, I hate that this is happening to my child. In your opinion, did the school system fail this child? Absolutely. This city school administrator who works inside North Avenue asked not to be identified for fear of retaliation. That school community failed this student. This administrator told Fox 45 News, city schools failed because it has protocols and interventions set up to help students who are falling behind or have low attendance. In France's son's case, they didn't happen. I get angry. I, I, there's, there's nothing but, but frustration. We see on the news uh, the, the crime that occurs the murders, the shootings. We know that there are high levels of poverty in Baltimore. Things like this are adding to that. These children are why I do this work. Dr. Sonia Santelisis was school CEO four years ago when Francis son was a freshman, but she will not interview with Fox 45 News. Instead, we received this two page statement, which explains what should happen when a student is chronically absent or failing. The district says students received a letter about their academic status status this past summer, and records can be accessed through the campus portal. When a student is absent, an automated call is placed to the number on file. The statement also said the school conducted recent home visits and the student's parent visited the school. But France says none of that happened. 
What this statement does not address is why Francis' son was promoted despite failing classes. It doesn't discuss his class rank or the 58 other students with a GPA of 0.13 or lower. But it does say North Avenue is reviewing actions that impacted student outcomes at the school prior to this year. I really, it took a lot for me to just build the courage to do this, like. If you were to talk to this mom, what would you say to her? You know, I didn't have a hand on this student, but I work for city schools. So he is one of my kids. I would hug her and I would, I would, I would apologize profusely and he feels embarrassed, like he feels like a failure. And I'm like, you can't feel like that. And you have to be strong. And you gotta, you gotta keep fighting. You know, life is about fighting. Things happen, but you gotta keep fighting. And and he's willing. He he's he's trying, but he where where do, who would he turn to when the people that's supposed to help him is not? Single motherhood has taken a toll on the Black American woman. She can't take it anymore. It's showing. It's showing in her children, her son. Now, he failed 22 classes. He was absent or late 272 times. Now, you have two separate sides of the argument. You have one side saying that the school failed her son, the other side of the argument is people saying that she failed her son. I say the school and the mom, but more the mother because her son flunked 22 classes. So what you're telling me is that you are not present to help your child with his homework or even care to go to school meetings, parent teacher conferences to see how your son is doing. I understand schools have protocols and if students aren't passing, they have to get in touch with the parent. The guardian. However, only one teacher did. And his entire school and school district is flunking. He has a GPA of 0 0.3. Wow. He only passed three classes. This is the effects of not having a father present. For a child to learn properly in school, they have to have a steady home, decent home, drama-free home, breakfast, a place to study, These children aren't getting that these days. I don't know what type of mother he has, but she has to take responsibility for her child being in the 12th grade, having to go back to the ninth grade. He's going to be a 20 year old 12th grader. She might as well pull him out of school and have him get his GED. But unfortunately, they may be meeting the mother and the school district may be too slow to suggest that. They may say, hey, well, well, not may say, they are saying you need to go back to the ninth grade. He's in a 12th. Wait till he turns 18 and let him go and get his GED. 
No one is suggesting that. They're just saying, hey, you need to go back to the ninth grade. You need to be a 17, 18 year old man in the ninth grade. Now, he was absent or late 272 times. You can't put that on the school. That's not the fault of the school. That's the fault of the mother. Where are you when your child is absent 272 times? Wow. And... She's sitting on camera blaming the school, saying, where are the mentors? She doesn't have any mentors for her son. No role models. The fact that your son failed 22 classes and you did not bother to attempt to get him a tutor. Nothing. Nothing. All you're doing is sitting on this interview, blaming the school district. Then you have a undercover guy hidden behind a tree, supposedly talking to a news reporter about the school district failing her son. No, she failed her son also. They're trying to give this single mother a easy way out. And she is not in tune with what's going on with her son. She has to be held accountable for that. This idea that it's the school fault and they should have just notified her. Yeah. But she should know what's going on with her child to where her child is flunking 22 straight classes. And you're the mother and you're not aware of that. I know where this mother is. She's on YouTube. Probably doing twerk videos. She's from Baltimore. The fact that this school board did not suggest that her son just take the GED, it says a lot about this school board. They all don't. And this is the Democratic slave plantation doings, welfare doings, single mother doings. There's no way in hell if a father, well, a strong father in the home, this would be happening. You mean to tell me you never been to one of your children's parent teacher conferences? You don't reward your son for getting A's and B's on his report card? I know her son is crushed, embarrassed. I can't totally put this on him. He's a 12th grader. He had to be taught. And he was not taught. And she put all the weight on the shoulders of the school district. And it's not up to the school district to raise your child. You had that child. That's up to you to raise that child. What this mother is saying, her behavior is unacceptable. And you have a undercover, but it's questionable. I don't really believe this hidden person Saying that it's totally the school boards or the school district's fault. No. 
It's the fault of the mother, the parent. When the news was interviewing the invincible guy that was hidden behind the tree and his voice altered that supposedly worked for the school board, he said, I would hug the mother. I would I would apologize profusely. And I'm thinking like, what? Oh, this has to be a skit. This can't be real. This is why these mothers don't change. Because every time she gets into a jam, people make excuses for her. There's no way in hell You can only blame the school board and leave the mother off the hook. That doesn't make any sense. But what else doesn't make any sense in this day and time? You're supposed to be the most educated in America, but you have the dumbest children. How does that work? You are the most educated, but your children are the dumbest. They can't even compete with foreign children. These single mothers have put these children at a disadvantage. You have all of these immigrants coming over here and these American children can't compete because their parents can't teach them anything. Their parents are stuck on social media. Their parents are stuck in front of the TV watching Love and Hip Hop. And you wonder why your children are dumb as hell. They can't compete against the Asians, against the Nigerians. Hell, they can't even compete against the immigrants that don't even know English. This don't make no goddamn sense that this 17 year old boy has to go back to the ninth grade and they're suggesting him go back to the ninth grade and not get a GED. That don't make no goddamn sense at his, at his age. That shows you the mama dumb, the school board is dumb, uh, the city of Baltimore is dumb. They don't have a clue on success or how to at least get resources. And that's another problem. Resources. There's no resources for fatherless young boys. Now, if he was a girl, then she would have a better shot. But because it's a young black boy, there's no resources for him. So he's shit out of luck. You don't have a dad. His mother not there. She's out at the club. She may be a twerker. She may work at the strip club. You don't know the type of jobs these mothers are doing right now. We don't know that. We just hope she's doing the right thing. We just hope she's doing what she has to do to raise a successful boy. And I understand if you are a single mother and things just didn't work out. However, you have to know when your child, not your son, your daughter also is flunking 22 straight classes. That's unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Yeah, we can call out the school district, the school board all day long. Yeah, we can do that. But the fact that this mother had no clue that her son has a GPA of 0.3. He's number 62nd. Number 62nd in his school. So the majority of his school is failing. And the Baltimore School District is still passing 
teenagers. So, yes, the school is failing her son. The school district is failing her son. And she is failing her son. More than all of those combined. You have to be in tune on what's going on with your son, your children. Are you there to feed your son dinner? You guys don't sit around the dinner table and talk about how he's doing in school, his grades, nothing. You guys don't have family dinner time. You don't discuss school. You don't say, hey, let me see your homework. Children growing up these days don't stand a chance. Delinquent parents. I bet you she on YouTube. I bet you she's on Instagram taking butt pics. She might have a few twerk videos. That's not far fetched. Don't try to act like I'm just saying stuff in this video. No, parents are doing some of the wildest shit in 2021. Let's not go there. So this mother could be anything, but she also could have a good job, but she just don't know how to raise her son or a child. But at least know what's going on with your child. But she doesn't have to because there will always be somebody who would explain why it's not her fault. Hey, it's not her fault. It's still not her fault. No matter what happens, it's not her fault. This is solely on the school district. Nothing gets solved and her son, unfortunately, is not in good shape. He's in a crumbling city like Baltimore. He has a mother who can't take any responsibility. Can't take any responsibility. And that is a major, major problem in these democratic strongholds because they don't want to say, hey, the single mother has caused a lot of destruction because she's raising these dumb ass children. You see all of these idiots on World Star Hip Hop who's recording themselves doing drive-bys, murders, muggings. They come from mothers like this. If their mothers gave a damn, they would not be live streaming a murder on Facebook, Instagram. Mothers like her create monsters that you see on World Star Hip Hop. You see on Breaking News. One of these savages doing a drive-by missing his target and hitting a girl doing her schoolwork in her room. That's the origin of a lot of this type of activity. No mom at home, no dad at home, no supervision. And now she's looking for a role model. She's looking for a mentor for her child. And my question to her, When did you think you needed a mentor for your child? Before or after you knew that he was tardy and missed 272 classes and flunked 22. You did not think he needed a tutor until you found out that he was flunking and he needs to go back to the ninth grade. Not having a father at home stunts the growth of children.
This is an Amazon Prime example. Black people like this stand no chance against immigrants. The family unit stands a chance against these immigrants. Gentrification. But when you just got this mother, this delinquent mother, this Looney Tunes mother, this Looney Tunes single mother, this delinquent mother, who can't take responsibility because she is a single mother. That means it's some man's responsibility to mentor her son. More than likely, she is a mother who believes niggas ain't shit. Now she needs a nigga to mentor her son because her son is in a position where it's easy for him to give up. Just not go to school. Knowing he has to go back to the ninth grade and he's not getting the proper information. This is horrible. You have a dumbass mother raising dumbass children in a dumbass school district. There, I said it. You have a dumbass mother raising a dumbass son in a dumbass school district in a dumbass city. And now you see the effects of it. Generations of dumb ass kids. I'm going to say this, then I'm going to wrap this video up. But if you have children, go see about your children. Go spend some time with your children. Go talk to one of your children's teacher. Be in tune with your children. If you know more about a YouTube content creator than you know about your child, then you need to check yourself. Parents, go see about your children. I'm out.